Yes, we're here today with the International Fitness Pros Youth Training Academy. Um, as you can see behind me, uh, we have the Team Barbarians, uh, which are doing the individual combines. What that is, it's a one minute interval training where they do uh, one minute sit-ups, one minute push-ups, one minute squats, one minute burpees, and one minute pull-ups with the yellow assist bars. Um, the idea of this camp really is to, is to deal with the drills and training and fitness aspects of sports so that way when they go to their prospective teams, they are pretty much in condition and ready to go. Um, we've had some stellar athletes and, and we've had some kids that are a bit overweight and have done a, lost a tremendous amount of weight. So it seems to be working quite well. So with the thing with um, this morning, they did CrossFit with Bobby Hurdle up at Mills Creek, and that went extremely well. And so today we've got the Viper Squad in blue, which are the under under 11s, and we've got Bob, Team Barbarians and Team No Names, which are under 15s. And as you can see there, they're getting ready to do the pull-up bars. And as you, what you can see there is an extension of their arms bent knees and they have to show demonstrate their strength by pulling their chest up in between their elbows. It seems easy at first but then as you get past the 30 second mark the endurance level kicks in and muscle fatigue kicks in which determines their strength level. But overall we've had a successful six weeks. Um, we've averaged uh, 30 kids per week per day and um, it seems to be going quite well and as, as uh, the director I'm very pleased especially for my first time event coming out. Um, I've had great coaches with Coach Patrick Richardson. Um, I've got uh, Sophia uh, Richmond, Keanu, and Omar, which, you know, these guys have been tremendous help to me and the team, and the kids have had a great time. The parents seem to like it that much, where they're asking us now to do, an, do it as an after school program. So we're con contemplating that, but definitely October midterms, Easter breaks, Christmas breaks, we're definitely going to encourage this to go on. Now, a lot of these kids come from different clubs, different sports. Have you had any uh, conversations with the sports in which they come from um, as far as them coming to you and saying, can you do certain things within the sport? Yes, well, actually, we've uh, one kid we've had, Brandon Jones, who plays the captain of the under-14. He's uh, uh, in contention with the New England Revolution Academy. So I've been in touch with his father as the liaison between there, those coaches and myself, and we've been working on strategies to stre help strengthen his uh, abilities in his game as well. And as friend with Patrick Kala with the Bermuda Rugby Football Union, we've had a few uh, rugby players that have been here and as well trying to develop their strength and endurance in their game as well. Um, Xavier James was essential in all this because he's the speed coach, and he was helping us to determine you know core flexibility, core flexibility, uh, strength, explosive power. And from what we saw yesterday with his training, a lot of our kids have a lot of potential. So using his expertise, CrossFit expertise from Bobby Hurdle, and the rest of us here at IF Pros Camp, we hope we can develop that multiple athlete that can go into any sport and do anything. Now when you started the program, or when you thought about the program, you had certain goals, obviously, for your first year. Do you think you've met those goals? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, at first I was a bit worried with all the other camps and whether or not the concept of training and drills as a six-week program would even go over. But with, after our first day, we started with 15 by the, and on July 1st. By the third day, we were up to 20. By the second week, we were up to 30. And then we averaged every day after that between 25 and 32 um, athletes per day. And with the contention of the swimming ad that we added into it at the National um, Center, Sports Center, it went extremely well because it was something, most kids when they do a summer camp, they just go in the water, don't have really have a clue as to what they're doing. We actually hired a swim coach to teach laps, strokes, drills in the water, and it brought a whole new level of fitness. And as a result, we you know we had faster speed we had better endurance you know even nutrition wise the kids are now not bringing the chips and the soda anymore they're actually bringing fruit they're actually bringing whole sandwiches with protein in it now so we're getting we're seeing slight changes even in personality and attitude you know um, discipline we had some kids that were really not into it discipline wise and they've just come together and the team concept of what we're trying to achieve here has been working I think if we keep it going and it is all practically an all male team you know with Sophie as our as our only female but even so we've managed to keep them 
male kids and the female kids in line working together seeing themselves not a, as a gender but more as an athlete bring it back so bring it back this way now good Hazai, come on this side come on this side other side other side other side, other side. Okay. go take it back now lift your legs use your legs papa use your legs use your legs good squat down look, look. look squat look, look get your hips down right up 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 that's it now push push good. Oh, yeah. What's happening? What's happening? Good, you got your butt. Come on, get your butt down. Up, up. Okay, you use your leg. Now get pushing, pushing. Push. Good. Go! Go! Push, push. Good, ready? Up. Up. Push, push. Push, push. Okay, good. 